What is going on everybody? My name is Pete, but you probably already knew that. But in case you didn't, you guys are watching the one and only Paid to Drive and Pay to Drive Vlogs. Day number 1340 coming at you. Hope you're all doing great out there. That's right, everybody. Um, if you drive for apps like Grubhub, DoorDash, Uber Eats, or any of the others, you're in the right place, guys. That's right. Hit that free red subscribe button down below and turn on that notification bell and set it to all so you can get started right now, staying up to date with what's going on in the gig economy. And of course, be sure to hit that like button down below. I'd really appreciate that. Let YouTube know you're, you're enjoying the videos. Let's get 150 of those. And let's jump into this. All right, everybody. So... I wanted to, you know, I want to start reading more of the comments in the videos too. I know I do a lot of emails, I do a lot of articles, uh, personal experiences, uh, Patreon, Patreon uh, messages, you know, where they, where they come up with topics. But I, I got to start diving more into the comments and stuff too. So I'm kind of paraphrasing what this uh, particular commenter said. This comes from Debbie Martinez. So everyone in the chat over here or in the comments down below said, thank you, Debbie. All right, seriously, say thank you to Debbie, all right? Not little Debbie, because little Debbie, you know, the little snack cakes, those things are great. And I'm a guy who knows about those snack cakes. You know, you can tell by my physique. So, little Debbie Martinez, this one's for you. So, in her comment, she was talking about how back in March, <clears throat> she was doing all of these apps. And like many people, she ran into the problem where lots of customers are pulling that that nice fraud that, that everybody's been dealing with where you drop off the order, you take the picture, you send it to them, and then you get a message from Uber Eats or DoorDash or Grubhub, oh, the, the order was never delivered, okay? So what Debbie started doing is not only was she you know, either handing it off to the customer or dropping it off the door, she was taking the picture, she was texting the customer, but she also decided to call the customer on top of it. And not just to call them out, okay? But literally calling the customer and saying, hey, just wanted to confirm if you got your food or not, okay? So with that being said, it provides an extra form of, uh, you know, proof for you. Now you might be saying, well, Pete, well, if you're not recording the phone call, how do you know? Uh, you know, like what if they're lying? Da, 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 da. Look, the purpose of this is when DoorDash, when Grubhub, when Uber Eats, when one of these companies comes at you with that email and says, hey, this customer never got their food, you know? So what's going on here? We're gonna put you on a timeout. We're gonna pause your account to investigate this. What it does is you can take a screenshot of your recent calls and it will say the time of the recent call. Take a screenshot, save it, because then when they try and pull this crap with you where they say, well, the customer says they didn't get it. It's like, no, 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 no. You can see I called at this time, okay? Even if it's one of those generic numbers, it still shows the timestamp, okay? Download the timestamp app. That's another one that's that's a great app. It tells you everything, all the information, so nobody can uh, you know, say that it, you weren't actually there. You could screenshot the recent calls. You could screenshot the text message, okay? And you have the picture of the food at the door. That's three things backing you up. Now I know it's not a guarantee, but I will tell you this, the more information that you have, the better it's going to be for you in the future, okay? Let me repeat that. The more information to back up your case that you delivered the order, the better it's gonna be for you in the end, period. Hands down, no questions asked, seriously, okay? So with that being said, I'm just curious, all of you guys watching in the chat, in the comments down below, what is your procedure when you drop off these orders? Because all of this fraud started during the pandemic with the, with the, with what do you call it, where you didn't have to hand off the food to the customer every time where they preferred to leave it at the doorstep. You know, even to this day, whenever I order from Grubhub or DoorDash or Uber Eats, I tell them just leave it at the doorstep. It just makes it so much easier. Sometimes they don't listen. And that's another thing, guys, please make sure you are checking the notes. Okay, customers can get really, really upset if you don't listen to the notes. Me, I have never reported a driver, even when I can tell they're multi-apping and going in the other direction, and when they're you know, letting my food get cold, because I know what it's like to be out there. So I don't report people, but 
other people aren't gonna be as nice as me. Cover your ass, CYA, because nobody else is going to do that for you, all right? Do you think these companies care if they deactivate you? They don't, it ain't gonna happen, okay? So you have to cover yourself. So Debbie, uh, thank you for bringing this up because I know it sounds like it could be very obvious, but a lot of drivers don't call the customer. You know, taking that extra 30 seconds to just call and say, hi, this is Pete, your DoorDash driver. I'm just confirming, did you receive your order? Yes, I did, thank you. Hang up. At least it's there in your recent calls. Because then, like I said, you can screenshot that, you can show the picture of the food, and you can also show the text message. So do all three. Take the picture, text, and call. It might seem over excessive, but what's better? <clears throat> Possibly keeping your account or losing your account. You know, so let me know. Try this, see if it works. Um, do you guys call the customers? Do you text them? Do you send them the picture? What do you know? Uh, what do you do? Let me know in the chat or the comments. And of course, I want to take this time right now to thank all of our patrons over at patreon.com slash paid to drive. These people give a little something every month. And my way of saying thank you is I shout you out in every new video. And you also can message me through the Patreon app and bypass my email if you'd like. So, Links in the description or in the pin top comment. Sign up today if you'd like. Pick a tier and get started. And uh, yeah, so let me know when you hear your name called. Say, hey, Pete, I heard my name. We got Brian Pomeroy, Heidi Barnes, Joe Valerio, Kurt Paul, Lee Peacock, Tulsa Todd, William Boudreaux, Agus, Alan G. Van Horn, Drew Hanor, Fernando Carranza, Frank Haviland. Uh, Fresh One, Jason Case to Justin Case, Lulu Laura, Natalie Mosley, Sarah Keston, Scott Freisner, Sherry Cassidy, Stephen Neely, Brian Richardson, Jenny Thomas, John Bonacci, whoa, getting crazy here, John Bonacci, Matt Epperson, Nick G, Stacey Miller, Terrence Pacheco, and v -V Valerie Brown. Valerie Brown, if you're out there, leave a comment in the chat of the comments so I can say thank you to you once again, v -V -V Valerie Brown. That's right. All right. So, also, guys, save some money at the gas pump, huh? Seriously, get the Get Upside Gas app. Link is in the description down below. Make sure you download it. When you go to the gas pump, you pump your gas, print out your receipt, take a picture of your receipt with the Get Upside Gas app, and within 48 hours or so, you'll get anywhere from 15 cents to 45 cents a gallon back, which is pretty fantastic. And if a friend or family member signs up using your code, you'll get paid every time they pump gas. It's called Get Upside. Link's in the description down below. Make sure to download it. And of course, everybody, uh, make sure to go check out paytodrivestore.com for all your t-shirts, hoodies, and goodies. I'm not wearing one today, but it's all right. Go check out the designs. Everything's on sale, paytodrivestore.com. And if you made it to the end of this video, leave a comment saying end 808, end 808. Subscribe with all notifications on with that free red subscribe button down below. And of course, be sure to hit that like button real quick. And that's all I got for you this time, everybody. Send your emails to pay to drive stories at gmail.com. And until next time, get that money, get that honey, keep hustling, keep bustling. We'll see you next time right here on Paid to Drive and Paid to Drive Vlogs. Have a good one. Drive safe. Be well. And we'll see you next time.